and welcome to your very first Minecraft modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.3.2. This is Sakai 1121 and let's go ahead and get started. Um, first off, sorry I've been gone for so long. I um, had a lot of traveling and family stuff and school starting in a week. Um, so we've done school supply, shopping and all that. And so since school is starting, I won't be doing any more traveling. For a while, um, meaning I'll be able to do more tutorials depending on amounts of work I'm getting. Um, so that's good for you all, I guess. Um, and yeah, except this coming week, um, just with some last minute school supply shopping, I might not um, be able to get one out like every day or every other day like I would normally do. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to update MCP for Minecraft 1.3.2 um, because unfortunately with the new release of Minecraft, um, I, yeah, this fits, um, we have to completely, after the short time that 1.3.1 was there, completely re- um, redo MCP, which is unfortunate. But anyway, um, just go to the MCP website, link in the description, and go to MCP7X, download this, wait five seconds for the advertisement, nope, that wasn't AdFly, I'm used to AdFly with this sort of stuff. Okay, it's downloading, um, you guys can't see it, but I can. Okay, um, now just Google Mod Loader. And go to Rizugami's mods, uh, link in the description, download mod loader. Also, I have been asked a lot um, if I will do forge tutorials, and the answer there is yes, I will do forge tutorials. Um, I wasn't aware with the 1.3.1 forge update that they moved away from mod loader code, which in my opinion is very unfortunate. But, um, I guess it's for the better. Um, yeah. So, anyway, I did look at it and it doesn't seem horribly different. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and quit Safari because I don't think I need anything else there. And let's go ahead and... Okay, so right now I'm in my MCP folder. Um, on my desktop right here. Um, right there. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag in MCP72, which is what I downloaded, and mod loader replace. Okay, anyway, um, now I'm gonna open up a new window in Finder. And um, if you're using Windows, I'm not sure about new windows or anything, but the basic stuff you need to do is the same. Um, if you haven't watched either updating to 1.3.1 or decompiling for 1.2.5, um, the process is all the same. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and... I already have a clean bin and resources folder because I don't... I have a Minecraft folder where I just don't use mods. Um, and so you want to go ahead get a clean bin and resources folder, meaning one that hasn't been used for any mods, um, not mod loader, not anything, and copy it into the jars folder. Now one thing you also want to do, which I forgot, um, is go to minecraft.net. Hopefully you all know um, how to get here if you're modding the game. Um, otherwise, link in the description. Anyway, I'm going to log in, hopefully all my stuff is in there, and hit download now, and then go down to the bottom and download this minecraft underscore server dot jar. Now I can quit Safari, and just, oops, I don't want to do that, there we go. Anyway, um, drag in the minecraft underscore server dot jar, and now if you go into bin, 
and we want to decompile the minecraft.jar. So the way I do this is um, thank you to the two people who recommended this program to me is I um, I use a program called Beyond Archiver because I recently updated to OS, um, OSX Snow Leopard um, or Snow Mountain Lion. I was running Snow Leopard um, and that made it so that I couldn't decompile .jar folders, which was a bit annoying because I couldn't mod Minecraft. Any, um, so uh, they told me about the unarchiver. So what I'm going to do now is just copy all of the mod loader classes and go into jars, bin, Minecraft, paste them all in, apply to all, replace, takes a little while, and where is MetaEye now? You don't have to delete MetaINF. I know everyone says you should. Um, I found that you don't really have to. However, everyone in the comments in my 1.2.5 video said, why didn't you delete MetaINF? So I'm deleting it for you guys. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to, this is the roundabout process to turn it back into a jar on a Mac, is you right click, hit compress, delete that, and then you rename .zip to .jar. On Windows, just turn it back to .jar. Anyway, um, I'm trying to do this tutorial pretty fast because I want to get to some other tutorials, um, which I wasn't planning to do this early in 1.3, um, but I am going to do for you guys, and I'll give you a little hint as to what those tutorials will be later on in the video. Anyway, um, now I believe we have this all set up, so I'm going to open up a program called Terminal so that I can run the um, the decompile code. So type in cd and then drag in the mcp folder, change directory. Um, if you are using Windows, you do not have to open up command prompt. Um, all you need to do is double click on the decompile.bat. However, obviously, uh, that doesn't work on Mac. So what I'm so what you need to do is inside terminal, type in bash, and then drag in the decompile.sh, and it'll run. Now I've noticed in the 1.3 updates, it takes a lot longer to decompile than nor than it used to. Um, I don't know why, but it just does. So, yeah. Um, let's see. What can I talk to you guys about modding related? Um, well, also, the community mod project. I will be working on that. Um, I've, you guys have put in some really cool ideas. I think what I'm going to settle on is like a multi-planet dimension type mod, um, th though that may change, obviously. Um, and I will be making that mod a forge mod. Um, several reasons for that. Uh, one of which is if any of you guys wanted experience and just something to get your name out there, you could easily make an add-on, and I would put the add-on along with the main mod, um, you'd get credit and everything. Um, everyone who helps with the community mod will be getting credit for what they did. Um, I won't be giving specific credit like so-and-so made this texture, but I will be giving credit like so-and-so helped make textures, so-and-so helped code, etc. Um, okay, so anyway, when you're decompiling, you'll see that it'll say errors found, two out of two, hunks ignored. Just ignore that. Um, that's usual. Anyway, now it's going to decompile the server sources. And what I found is it usually give, says like 18 errors, something or other. Don't worry about that. Um, 
it's normal again. Anyway, so that's going to take a while to decompile. Anyway, um, and that's going to mean another 10 minutes of uploading. Yay. Um, anyway, I hope my audio, by the way, is okay for you guys. It seems to be recording pretty quietly. Um, for whatever reason, again, since the um, since my operating system update, QuickTime, which is the program I use to record, updated, and for whatever reason it seems to record stuff quieter, I have my micro microphone, not microphone, not microphone, microphone input on full volume, but it seems to be recording a bit quietly. Um, though I do really like the new update because it allows me to only record a certain part of the screen which is really good if I want to record a Minecraft video. Anyway, it's almost in recompiling. There's the 18 errors. And an initial client recompile failed, whatever. Generating servers in the pipes. Okay, anyway, um, I'm going to leave terminal open. And what I want to do is you want to go into jars, bin, to, well, no, don't delete that yet. And open with the unarchiver. Extract. Um, also, I, um, if, I mean, I know there's like seven of you that follow me on Google Plus. Um, anyway, rename that to dot jar, but rem try to keep it as a folder. Anyway, um, there's like seven of you that follow me on Google Plus, and I recently posted something about memory management in Objective-C because I'm working on a program that I want to eventually put on the App Store. Um, and I did get some questions as to whether I was going to do um, Objective-C tutorials for like iPhone programming. So if you want me to do that, I'm not super good at memory management in language, but it was the very first programming language I learned when I was like 11. So if you want me to do that, put a comment in the description and if enough of you want me to, then I'll do that. Anyway, I'm going to open up Eclipse. That was a bit of a tangent, sorry about that. Um, and now for Workspace, I'm going to hit Browse and just go into the MPC, MCP, not MC, MPC, I don't know what that would stand for. In MCP72, Eclipse, open. Okay. And it's all done. Okay. Um, let me make this fit. Anyway, we should be able to. Oh, it's still building the workspace, as you can see down here. You'll see we get a bunch of warnings. That's normal. Um, that's just with the basic Minecraft code. But if we run Minecraft, we should see that it's all fine. Minecraft 1.3.2. And now, final step is let's... I. So I already went in and I copied in the source from 1.3.1. If you don't know how to do that, go into your previous MCP file and go to Eclipse, or not Eclipse, um, Source, Minecraft, Net, Minecraft, Source, and then the files will be in here along with the textures. Copy in the files and textures and put them into a source folder. I'd recommend you do this anyway, even when you're not updating, because it can make life a lot easier later. Um, and go ahead and copy this all in. Now, hopefully, um, we shouldn't have any errors. I have never actually, before I recorded this video, updated a mod to um, 1.3.2. So this is actually my first time. And for whatever reason, I copied in tutorial tool.java. Okay. Anyway, um, I will release a 
actually no, that's the same as my 1.2. If you want this source code that I'm copying in, um, I released a folder for 1.2.5 source. That's basically the same as this source code. Um, I only ended up doing one video in the course of 1.3.1. I am not copying that out. Why is it? Okay, I hope I didn't just delete anything important. But, oh, there we go. There's an error. And what's the error? Oh dear. Did I delete? Did I just. Wait, why is our source code in there? Okay, again, I've never updated... Uh, oh. Tutorial tool. There we go. That's what I deleted. Um, I guess it did end up copying everything. Anyway, um, you'll see all our code is in there. Now, that was a bit strange there for a minute. Um, sorry about that. But anyway, if I hit single player, create new world, creative, and it'll build the terrain, and hopefully, and hopefully nothing crashes, and there we go. There is our tutorial log. Um, so anyway, um, prelude for videos I will either be making later today or tomorrow or the next day if I don't have time tomorrow. Um, some of you may recognize this texture. Just saying. So, um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.